It's the video you've all been waiting for. How to EU map a plane. Firstly, find the plane of your choice. Guess which plane I'm going to be doing. That's right. The A220. Open up your UV map of choice. Make a new layer. Put it below. Paint it white. That's not white. Paint it white. And let's choose the hardest livery I can think of. That's right, Swiss Airlines. Look at that. That is so difficult. Get that logo from Google. Google. If you've got a custom airline. Good luck. Put that logo on there. Size it down. And let's see what we've got here. Made of 2, 2.5k by 2.5k UV prints. Interesting. Mirrored side? Non mirrored side. Moving okay. I'm going to take the plus sign of the Swiss livery. Move back here. Take the Swiss logo. Scale it down. Let's see where we can put it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's 11 windows. The Swiss text covers. Let's replicate that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Wow. I did that perfectly. Nearly. That looks okay. Cool. As said, this is the mirror side. So take that into account. You can take the Swiss logo, size it up, see how much the teller gets. I think roughly same below and above the logo. So let's replicate that here. I'm going to take a section of this example here. I'm going to scale it forward like that. Let's just take a rubber and delete that mistake. Perfect. It's like it wasn't even there. I'm going to take this and we're going to put a reference down. So let's say right there, such as the black line. You can just move this right down. Perfect. Let's move the Swiss logo as well. I guess the reference, I'll say right there. Move that bad boy down. It's two down. That's too far up. Perfect. Now, for the mirrored side, all you got to do when you have text like this, take it, put it in a new canvas like this, go to image and flip it horizontally, aka mirror it, overlap it, put it roughly, yes, and delete. There you go. See, that was very difficult. We're going to check out the wingtips. And as you can see, we've got the Swiss Airlines logo on that as well. So let's do it. It looks like we have a problem. All right, I'm going to do some editing myself. Super hard. And then we just speed this process up. Six ninety. I knew it. Look at that. Oh, we have to scale it down anyway. And it looks like we're done. I spent hours on this. Hopefully you don't spend hours on your livery. Don't make the mistake of putting this whole livery as an image and seeing a squished livery and then complaining that your UV is not working. What we're going to do, check the image size, go to canvas size. 5,000, cool. We can split it in half. Make a new 2,500 by 2,500 grid. Paste it over that background at the topmost layer you can. There you go. We're going to ruin that background. Merge everything down together just like that. Select in the first layer. Just over there. Let me paint it a different color so you can see it better. That. Make a new canvas. Check it's 2500 by 2500. Make sure you've copied that livery below. Boom. Paste. Boom. Save. Select the other square. Boom. Paste. Boom. Save. Another way of doing it. Go to this looking, this fishy website. Select image. What the hell is that? Paste the image down. A width of 2500. 2500 here. And we're going to set the positions to 0, 0 on the X and Y. Crop image. Do the same for the other side. Once you've done it. You've got two square images. Put some surface appearance. Add that image. Boom. Go to the next part. And open up that other image as well. It already makes the task simpler. So open up both UV maps. Wow. Perfect. Right. Start applying the UV to the rest of the body. And there we go. We are done. The engine UVs look a bit off. I actually haven't made them. Very complicated livery right here. I missed the back part. I don't know why. There you are. See you in the next one.